Okay, so we're going to walk through a cleaning of your sunroof on your 2015 to 2020 F-150s, 2017 to 2020 F Super Duties, and your 2018 to 2020 Expedition Navigators. And the reason I want to take you through this is because the customers complain about a squeak rattle tap that's coming from it. It functions fine when it's open, you know, everything's cool, it opens and closes fine, the vent shade works fine doesn't make any noise when it's open but as soon as you put it in the closed rest position as you're driving you can hear this squeak screechy rattle rubbing sound coming from kind of all over the place it needs to be clean and lubricated that's the main reason now I'm not saying it can't be broken but most of the time it just really needs to be clean and lubricated with some like some like dry silicone or something like that and uh, I want to show you how to put the truck in those positions to clean them properly so that's where we're gonna start I'm gonna flip the camera around you can see I've got it open right now. That's because I actually am done with the cleaning process. So I just got an old crappy rag. You can use some uh, isopropylene alcohol, but um, a really good Windex with a high, uh, you know, some good quality Windex or something would work as well to clean it. It does have some alcohol content in, in some of the Windex. So maybe all of it, I don't know. So we're going to close it right now. So it's just in the regular rest position right now. Now what I want you to do to start out with is go ahead and hit the center button right here to vent. Okay, it is vented. You can see it's just barely up. At this point, you're gonna go outside the vehicle and you're gonna clean this whole entire area all the way around that's exposed. Clean it real good. You see how I got it nice and clean? And then when you're done cleaning that, you're gonna go ahead and unvent it. I actually hit forward, it closes. And then you're gonna go to the back position all the way. So it goes back. And then you're gonna clean inside this channel right here. Everything gets cleaned out all along that plastic. All along the front of this right here, make sure you clean this real, real good. I got to go back over it again and clean it real, real, real good. So clean this front seal real good. And then once you get it cleaned, go ahead and run it forward a little bit more. Oh, wrong one. And then take your rag, after you got it nice and clean, and go ahead and like kind of like pull it let me see if I can turn this camera go ahead and like pull it back through the side and try to get any of that stuff in the beginning you initially couldn't get on the side just nice and easy just pull it you ain't gonna hurt nothing don't get crazy see all that rags kind of going back beside it right here try to get as much as you can and then Go ahead and open it back up as far as it'll go. Make sure your channels on both sides are real, 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 real clean. And then go ahead and spray it down with a uh, nice dry film of dry silicone. Any, or just a silicone, any kind of silicone spray that you have. Spray the seal just real lightly. And then spray the channel and stuff. Put it all back together and then go for a test drive. Let's do it. All right, I've got everything nice and lubricated up. clean. Now I'm going to wipe all the glass and stuff down and let's go for a test drive. Okay, got everything super clean, all fingerprints wiped off, all grease wiped off and really perfect for the customer. Drive time. Okay, let's see what we got. Nope, no chatter, no nothing so far. Normally it would be squeaking like crazy. Just even pulling out of the parking lot, it would be squeaking. Yep, I'm getting nothing from it at all. You know what, that's that stupid mask somebody hung on the 
somebody was being a smart ass earlier I'll show you guys right now and hung a mask from the car when I went into the service station so somebody the service station earlier hung this from a truck I'm trying to be a smart butt and that's what that flapping sound was just now so uh, social distancing guidelines say that if you can stay more than six feet away from somebody in an establishment there's no reason to have a mask on your face it doesn't say everybody that enters this store must have one so the gas station over here by where I work they don't make you do all that crazy stuff if you can stay six feet away you're fine not having a mask on your face here's the parking lot to be in to test for that squeak in the sunroof because there's a lot of bumps in this parking lot and it's just all tore up it's been tore up for years so I'm going to put you up there and let's listen. All the squeaking's gone. Before, when I used to be driving in this parking lot, you start shaking the wheel, it would be like... Beep, 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 beep. Nothing at all. No issues, nice and clean. No sounds, the sounds that you're hearing are coming from. So I'm gonna test drive it a little bit more and see what we got. Um, just so you guys know, the TSB for this, if it's still under warranty, it's gonna be paid for. But if it's not, um, the TSB is 20-2093. And here's your the vehicles that are affected by it. My lens is a little dirty, but I don't wanna clean it right this second. And then here's the description. And then you'll pay about a half hour to have your sunroof cleaned under this TSP. So uh, there's some other provisions that entail. Here's the basic how-to so you guys can see. Position the glass in a vent position. So they tell you just squeak it up just like it says right here in the pick. Clean around the outside all the way around like I told you to. You can use rubbing alcohol. I used Windex because it has a high alcohol content, the stuff that we have, so it evaporates really quick. Clean the exposed roof opening sheet metal with isopropylene alcohol, which I did. Position the glass panel to the fully open position. That was the all the way back position like I showed you. Figure two, which is this here. The sunroof all the way open. Clean the remaining front rubber seal around the front all the way around like I showed you. And I also cleaned this part as well on the back glass. Apply isopropyl alcohol to equivalent onto a clean cloth and insert between the rear fixed glass panel, rubber seal, and the roof opening sheet metal. I did that as well. I cleaned everything that I could possibly get the rag to fit down in. And then it shows here. Apply a light film of Krytox weather strip lube to the entire front movable glass panel. I just used regular dry silicone, it worked really well. Folding a clean rag over a flexible piece such as an uh, old credit card or thin piece of plexiglass will assist with the application. Hold the wind deflector down and apply Crytox grease to both openings. Which I did that as well. And then cycle the glass from open to closed, closed to vent, vent to closed, closed to open, and open to closed. I did all the positions over and over and over again. No noise, no no crazy sounds or anything. And it's talking about applying um, some grease to these points. Just clean the area up, basically, damn it. All this rubbish should do in all this. Everything that you can possibly see that's dirty, clean it, grease it up, silicone it, whatever you have that's not going to be as a, uh, like a material degrader, and drive the vehicle. That's pretty much it. That's what it comes down to. Y'all be blessed.